Hello everybody, uh, I'm making just a very short video to uh, explain you how to use uh, different layers and render them separately with uh, Blender 2.8. Whether you are using uh, EV or Cycles, it's uh, just about the same steps. So uh, I just uh, created the very simple objects. Uh, you have the cube that could be uh, considered as a, a background or another cube and uh, Suzanne for uh, another object. So if I want to render them separately, uh, the, the easiest way with layers will be to create collections for the object that uh, I want to uh, isolate. So I'm just going to create uh, a new collection for the blue cube with uh, the Keyboard shortcut uh, M and new collection so I can uh, write a background. Same thing for the other objects. So as you can see uh, here, we have uh, now uh, different collections. So, but uh, right now they are all in the same uh, layer. So uh, this layer will render everything. So if I want to make them separately uh, on uh, each layer, I just create uh, other layers. So this one could be a background. So for this one, I will. Uh, uncheck uh, those uh, collections, uh, those checkbox for the, the collection I don't want in the render. So uh, with that, there is only the background. <coughs> I can create other layers. I can uh, call it uh, other object. So for this one, I will de deactivate the, the background. So if I select uh, the, the previous layer, you will see that the collection will uh, update uh, dependently uh, of uh, which uh, collection is uh, activated. As you can see, OBG1 and OBG2 are uh, unchecked. And if I go back to other objects, I can see that I only have uh, OBG1 and, and 2. So if I want to render, right now they are going to be rendered uh, at once. So if I want to make separate uh, renders, I'm going to layers and I will just check the render single layer. So right now, uh, you have, you still have, if you have uh, many uh, cameras, you will still have to uh, uh, select the one that you, you that you need for your render in the scene, the context menu, just here. So if I will have uh, another camera, for example, if I will like to use this camera for the other OBG, I will uh, select it uh, from here. But you have to do it for uh, every render to make sure that the, the right camera is used. <coughs> So the, the other thing I will have to do is to uh, set, uh, no, I, uh, okay, it's already, uh, I already uh, done that. So the render, render single, so if I uh, render the, the, the scene, I will just select uh, the, the uh, previous camera. Uh, no, I will use the, the other one. Okay, right now, just wait a minute, I will adjust the view so we can see something. So if I render the scene, it's only going to uh, use the cube and uh, Suzanne in the render. So uh, let me see if it works. As you can see, there's only uh, the cube and Suzanne. 
So if I want to uh, render the, the background only, I will just select the layer over here and do the same thing, render the scene. As you can see, it works. So if I want to uh, see all my layers after the rendering, I will just go to the compositor and uh, click on use node. So the layers that you just rendered are going to be shown here. So right now it's on background, but since I uh, already rendered the, the other layer, I can choose it from here. So it's pretty useful. So uh, I hope that uh, it helps you uh, with this. And uh, if you have, still have uh, questions about it, uh, let me know and I will be uh, able to make uh, another uh, short video to explain, uh, to explain that. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.